Hello everyone, so I'm just going to go in and start with my P. Louise base in Rumor 0.5 and I'm just going to use this to prime my eyelids like I always do. So this is where tape comes in handy for people like me who suck at doing wing liner on myself. It's crazy because I find wing liner on my clients so easily, like I could probably do it with my eyes closed. Yet when I try and do wing liner on myself, it's kind of a disaster. So I found the easiest way to do it on myself is by just putting a piece of tape along where I want the liner to go. So I'm just going to take my tape and I'm going to place it on the outer part of my eye here. So for me, because my crease on the bottom part of my eye here goes down further than the end of my, the tail of my brow, I like to angle my tape and my liner outwards a little bit. A lot of, most people, um, angle their wing liner up towards the end of the brow, but for me that just doesn't work because of the way that my eyes are shaped and the way that the creases are in my eyes. So I place it a little bit more on a straight angle rather than an up angle. Now I'm going to take my Morphe R37 brush and I'm going to go in with this lilac shade in the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette right here. And I'm just going to place this through the crease and I'm going to blend it, blend it out. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M456 brush. It looks like this right here. It's a very small blending brush. I'm just going to go into that purple shade again and I'm going to pack this all over the eyelid. I really want this purple to show up really vibrant along the lid. And now I'm going to go back in with my Morphe R37 brush and I'm just going to use this to blend out the edges. Now for the fun part, we're going to create the wing liner now. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma EO6 brush. It's my favorite wing liner brush of all time. You can use any angle brush that you have or even at this point if you wanted a black eyeliner, you could just go in with your black eyeliner pen or brush tip or whatever you have. Because the tape is here, it's gonna be, it's gonna allow you to have that really harsh, sharp wing shape. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Delicious. It's a navy blue. I decided that for this look, I didn't want to go in with a black eyeliner, and I really, really like how it turned out. So I'm just gonna take this shade on my brush, and I'm gonna start where I want the wing liner to start. And I'm just gonna drag it all the way down onto my eyelid. So I'm just taking the product and going where I want the wing to start and I'm just dragging my brush down all the way onto the eyelid like that. And now I'm gonna take some product and I'm gonna run it along the upper lash line. If you're using an eyeshadow like I am, this takes quite a while to build up and build it up to the intensity that you want. But the bonus about having the tape here is that you can build it up and you can be super messy and the moment the tape comes off, you have a super sharp wing.
Honestly, the hardest part about this is getting both eyes to match. I'm not sure if they're both the same size, but we're gonna go with it. So now I'm just gonna take this tape off. I'm being very, very, very careful while taking this tape off. There we are, and as you can see, we have a very sharp wing liner. I seriously wish I could freehand a wing like this on myself, but the tape works, so we'll stick with it. <laughs> so now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this edge just a little bit using my P. Louise base. You can use your concealer or whatever else you have. And we're just going to go and clean up the edges. And now I'm just going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner and I'm just going to draw a very thin line above the lash line to blend in my lashes. Now I'm going to put my Pure Bombshell lash on. As you know, they're my favorite lash of all time. I have no idea why in the previous two videos I called them goddess lashes. I don't, I don't know what came above me, but they're called Bombshell and they are the best. They're my favorite. So I'm just going to go in and place this long lash line. Now I'm just going to do my foundation and concealer and I'll be right back. Before I do anything else, I'm going to go in and work on the lower lash line. I'm going to start off by going in with this ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Puppy. It's this beautiful orange shade. And I'm going to place this right in the waterline. I want a really vibrant orange under eye. For some reason lately I've been absolutely loving the way that purple and orange look together. I know that if you try and blend purple and orange eyeshadows into each other, they sometimes end up turning into a muddy mess, but I don't know, I just love the way that the two colors look together. And now I'm going to take my Morphe JH40 brush and I'm going to go into this orange shade in the palette right here. And I'm just going to use this to blend out the eyeliner on the bottom of the eyes. And now I'm just going to take a small pencil brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Jawbreaker right here. And I'm going to use this to highlight the inner corner of the eye. And now for highlighter, I'm going to go in with this loose highlighter from Wet n Wild called I'm So Lit. It is this stunning, stunning highlighter. Now I'm just going to take a little bit on a JH09 brush from Morphe, and I'm just going to apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. Like, look at that. Oh. So blinding and beautiful. Woo, she's glowing. And now for lips, I'm going to go in with my Sugar and Spice Lip Liner from Gerard Cosmetics. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. And now I'm going to take this liquid lipstick from Morphe, it's called Virgin, and it's just this beautiful pinky nude color. I do feel like we need a little bit of gloss, so I'm going to go in with one of my favorites. It's the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. Oh, this smells so good. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this purpley orange spring tutorial and also my favorite tip on how to do wing liner on yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.